Hey everybody, now we're going to go over the sketch and document feature. So clicking on that you, that you see on the screen, um, you come to a window where you see many different options. Uh, at the top you can import a plan and that will allow you to take a PDF, a picture of a document, or um, uploaded it from a email that someone sent you, you know, image file. Um, you can also do sketch and document and that is essentially creating it from scratch. Um, Smart Room, which is a feature unique to the BLK3D. Um, you can also use Measure Plan, which requires other accessories, not just the BLK, so I won't touch on that just this time around. And Measure Facade also requires those accessories, so we won't touch on that. Um, starting with at the very top, which is Import Plan, you click on that and it gives you the options. Take a picture of it, which is essentially if you have a printed out blueprint, you lay it down or hold it up, take a picture of it, and you can use that image. Uh, gallery would be if someone else sent it to you, or if they sent you have a PDF file, you could upload that as well. I already uh, took a picture of a blueprint, so I'm going to grab that. And this is just a generic one, it's not actually the plan of where I'm working, um, but just using it as a reference to give you an idea. Alright, so we have that here, and I'm just pinching the screen like you would on any smartphone to adjust the size as you're seeing here. Uh, if it is oriented incorrectly, you can click that rotate button to orient it up right, right side up. Uh, once you're done, you click done, and now you have this. It's going to allow you to uh, make notes, and those notes are created by clicking this button here that says place at the bottom right-hand corner that you see. So I'll click on that. I'm going to click on the bottom of this room. So now there's a mark there sh showing the note. If I click on that, now I'm going to step back away from the wall, and this room is tall, but there we go. I got all of it. Okay, now we take the picture. And since I can't cover the whole room, and it's asking me to move to my right just a little bit, take another picture. Okay, so I really just have this corner, but that's okay. So I got that corner, I'm going to click done. Now it should take me back, perfect. And since I got that corner, pretty sure I can just click and drag it over, there we go. So now I'm marking it as a corner. I can now select another one for this other corner here. And, but as you can see, now that it's marked and it shows the number one because that means I've made a re one recording of this spot. If you wanted to take additional pictures or specific spots, you can add more. Just click on it like so. It shows you a preview. You can click the button in the bottom right that says add or you click on the picture preview that you want to look at. And now it's loading, it's adjusting. All right. Yep, it got the green check mark. That means it's good to go. All right, it's still loading. It's just making sure that the uh, pictures are good quality for it. There we go. Two green checks. That means we're good. Both pictures are excellent quality. All right. So now you can use this picture to measure distance or area. And you would just do it as we went through before. Um, if you wanted to get the area of this, you would just click up top there, bottom corner. And I'm just hitting roughly where it is I want to measure right now. I'm going to make fine adjustments afterwards. Oh, it's saying it's unable to snap. Okay, since it's saying it's unable to snap, you can just turn off the snap feature at the top there. It's that gray box that's on right now, but if I click on it like I'm doing, it turns it off. Now it will just go wherever you click. All right. Okay, and then you click done. Oh, all right. All right. So it's not reading my finger quite right there. I'm doing undo because that button or that option should not have been there, and which is a quick fix. If you add something that you didn't mean to, that bot top right corner there, undo, will remove that for you. All right, and then I'm going to click done because I've been done measuring that square. Okay, it took me out, so I want to edit that box that I created. So going back in, okay, again, it's making sure the image is good, but it should be quick because it's already done so before. All right, now you select the box, put it right where you want it. Click next so you can go quickly from point to point. There we go. And I'm just, there's no point down here, but I'm going to do grabbing that for reference. There we go. All right, so that's all four points. And now it'll tell you the measurements on each side of your box as well as the um, area of the whole box. And you can do other shapes too. You could add more points to make it any number of points and get the area of that space. And again, you click done when you're done, when you don't need to look at it anymore. And then you can take this and send it to your desktop uh, software so that you can make additional measurements and 
uh, make any additional notes that you need to. Uh, now we'll go over the other methods for using Sketch and Document.